Courtney Hansen back with you at NASCAR.com. NASCAR is always working hard to be on the leading edge of technology, whether it comes to on-track performance or driver safety. There's a whole department of hardworking employees in Concord, North Carolina in the Research and Development Center that spend all of their time trying to figure out the next big thing. From a safety perspective, we've added several new advancements for the Gen 6 car. We did the new laminated windshields and the new window net mounting. So historically, window nets have been used to help keep the driver inside the car. This new window net for Gen 6 is different in that its primary goal is to keep things out of the car. And we do that by improving the structure with thicker bars on the top and also on the bottom. And the way we hold on to them in the four corners is improved over last year's bars also. The 10A window net is really meant to do the same thing and it's to fill this hole and to keep things from entering the car and uh, coming in contact with the driver. We spent a lot of time focusing and evaluated a lot of different designs to make sure that the window net still dropped in a fashion that the driver's familiar with and comfortable with. The Gen 6 windshield is a laminated windshield. Um, it's the same exact polycarbonate material as the previous windshields, but it's two thin layers essentially bonded together to form a, a laminate. And we tested it ballistically. We took full soda cans and we also took steel projectiles and shot them at the windshield at 200 miles per hour. The new laminate windshield performed much better with a steel projectile. The steel projectile passed through the old style windshields, but when it struck the new laminate windshield, it bounced up and over the top. From an interior standpoint, things we're looking at would be additional data gathering capabilities inside the car, high-speed cameras that would show us how a driver moves during a crash. Another example would be instrumenting the seatbelt anchors to understand how hard each seatbelt point is holding the driver back during a crash. Safety is something that will never end for us. Each crash is unique and requires a certain type of restraint system and safety equipment in place. We try and do all of our research to encompass every possibility that we can imagine that could occur in a crash, but we can always make improvements in areas that are highlighted either on the racetrack or through research that we do. I can't wait to see these innovations hit the track, along with the next big thing the R&D Center has up its sleeve. For more on automotive technology, keep it here at NASCAR.com.